and welcome back everybody this is movies and beyond i'm callum that's kyle kyle how the fuck we doing i'm doing great yeah good good you've had a fun day at work yep. i'm doing yeah uh, yeah work was fine no no cut hangers behind you No, no coat hangers today, no. I've uh, changed the camera. Okay. Any reason why you're speaking like that? What do you mean? Speaking like what? Nope. 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 It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay. Kyle. Doctor Strange 3. We've had some news on who the possible villain could be for the uh, third film. Um, uh, fuck! Apparently, it's gonna be Kang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, it's gonna be Kang the Conqueror. Um, I think this, you know, because when Jonathan Majors was brought out on stage on Comic Con for Ant Man and the Wasp, he was told, you know, he. They told everyone in the audience there that he's going to be popping up in so many projects throughout the entire multiverse saga. And I think after Loki Season 2, I think a Doctor Strange 3 kind of makes the most sense of where Doctor Strange left off in the post credit scene. Obviously, with a clear going to fix incursions and stuff like that. So, uh, what with the Jonathan Major stuff aside, what do you think of... Because we will get into that, but... As of this, what do you think of Kang potentially being the main villain for uh, Doctor Strange 3? It's interesting because it's now going into, like, the Doctor Strange films are very just, you know, the first two, uh, well, the only two we have, are very much like just mystical and magic. Well, yeah, this will whereas... be tech versus magic. Be this so will be easy. tech versus, yeah. yeah. But it'll be they'll be both they'll both be handling the multiverse in their own way, so it'll be interesting to see. And it, you might think, oh well, how does that kind of like it's it's a weird dynamic in it, but it's not at the same time because you think about it this way: it's like mag magic is used in the real world, and is used like technology. Say, let let's say you want to go from point A to B. This is very basic here, but we want to go point A to B, right? In magic terms, you you do a teleporter. Well, with technology, you can teleport now. So, you know, I hope they don't blur the lines too much with it. I hope there is some groundedness to the tech well, stuff. Yeah. And it not just be another version of magic. I'd, lo yeah, I'd love to see his 31st century tech against, you know, Doctor Strange's magic. But, you know, it could be a variant of Kang who uses magic. There's, all, there's that possibility. Uh, but Kang is more of a tech guy, so I see that being the option. Um, what I do want to say about this is, if he's going to be the villain, make him the villain. Don't Ant-Man and the Wasp him. Because in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Kang is the best part of that film, without a doubt. He is the best part. When I went back to watch it for the second time, I only went to go watch it. Like, I could have showed up an hour late to the cinema, because I only went to watch it for the Jonathan Major scenes as Kang. Um, but the whole marketing push for... Well, not the first trailer so much, but that second trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp was Kang's coming, you know, a new dynasty and stuff like that. And he was only, you know, he, yeah, he's got that scene at the beginning of the film, but he's only really used in the later half, which is the half of the film I think is better. Um, but... Yeah, if he's going to be the villain, make him the villain. So, and apparently, you know, I've had the theory for a long time that Doctor Strange 3 is going to come out in between um, Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. No, apparently this is going to be the film just before Kang Dynasty. Sorry, I'm just really high up. You high as a motherfucker. There we go. So... Yeah, it's gonna be the that is gonna be the film. Just before, uh, Kang Dynasty. So that kind of makes sense as well, teeing it up that way. But now, 
the thing obviously everyone wants to talk about with this is Jonathan Majors, his trial has been pushed to the beginning of next month. Um, but if reports are coming out like this, you know, I kind of think Marvel has probably seen, you know, the evidence that he's going to be showing in court. And I think by the beginning of next month, we are going to learn that this man probably did nothing wrong. Because also, um, we, we didn't really do a story on this because it wasn't really movie news. It was, you know, just about the court case. And I don't really want to talk about the court case, but if we're talking about Jonathan Bages, I'll bring it up. He, uh, you know, he showed up for court and the per- his accuser, you know, because now they might be pressing charges on her for attacking him. She wasn't even in the country. She fled the country. So, yeah, I, th- I think we're going to have Jonathan Bages around for a long time as Kang watch next month guilty <laughs> so yeah so do you think this shows confidence in you know we're hearing reports like this now do you think this shows confidence in not marvel? not not 100 well maybe marvel behind the scenes are talking but it because it's not actually out and official yeah um then not a hundred percent but well, yeah, I'd say it's not, a, yeah yeah i think i think that i think they're they're it, it's not I, like i'm looking at this as like as, as plain and as, 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 you know, realistically as possible is that if he is, if he is not, if he's not guilty, Marvel need to still plan. So Marvel needs to plan for either way. Well, they've, so maybe we're just hearing the report of... They've already got a plan for if he is yeah. guilty. And that plan does still involve Kang. You know, um, I've been hearing that there's going to be a, Depending on the trial outcome, there is going to be a good old switcheroo in a Loki season two. Not throughout it, near the end. So that is when we will meet our prime Kang. So, but depending on who that prime Kang is, depends on how his court case goes. But it's looking well for him. Uh, so, you know, I hope the truth comes out. That's all we can say. But. Kang being the main villain in Doctor Strange 3, I think that's pretty fucking badass. I just, like, I'm just picturing, like, the fight that Thanos and, um, Str- and Strange had. But, like, they really need to start selling Kang more, especially after their ants beat him. So he needs to fuck up Strange. He needs to kill Thor in Kang Dynasty. He really needs to set a statement. Because having their ants drag him away and... Well, I... I wouldn't say defeated by Ants because he got obviously he must have got out and got the better of him, but to still come back and fight Scott Lang. But they they made a mistake changing the ending of that film. Kang should have won, and he should have got out. That'd take it from like a five and a half to me to like maybe a six and a half. I agree. But uh, anyway, the Mandalorian movie, Kyle. Might come at the cost of a season four. We might not be getting a season four now of the Mandalorian. Going straight yeah, it's to a fine. film. We've got, we've got, we've got, we've got a nice trio. You know, that's. Do you know what? I didn't think you'd be on board with this, but that's exactly what I was thinking. The three seasons of the show was a nice story, t- tied into a nice bow, and it's like, oh fuck you probably can go on and just make Mandalorian movies now because everyone loves the character. That little thing right there has probably made Disney millions. So, I don't see why they can't do it as films. I know Dave Filoni already had one planned. I don't know if this is going to be the same film because I know the film was going to be the culmination of everything, like Ahsoka, um, Skeleton Crew, what we've got coming out, Boba Fett, Mandalorian, it was going to be the culmination of all of it. But if Mando season four is going to be getting made into a film, and maybe they've looked, because we know John Favreau's wrote it, season four already. Maybe they've looked at the scripts and gone, after that reaction to season three and gone, yeah, no, we're just filling this with shit that doesn't need to be in there. Let's keep it tight. Two hour 20, two hour 30, movie. And, yeah. And I think I think this would make money, and I think this is Lucasfilm's best course of action to make money. 
in the yeah, cinema right now. Any, they ain't got any fucking Star Wars movies coming out. No. They need to fucking release one. They've, they've said for fucking years now, Callum, that, oh, we're getting all these Star Wars movies and all these directors and writers coming on board. Oh, the, right, you know, Ryan Johnson, he's going to get his own fucking trilogy and all his bollocks, and it's just like... Oh, Taika oh, Waititi's yeah. doing movies! Taika Waititi's doing a Star Wars movie? Patty Jenkins, and, and, Patty Jenkins is gonna do one. Oh my god! And, and, and the guys from Game of Thrones, they yeah. were on. Bear, oh my yeah. god! Do you remember that? Remember when that happened? Because it fucking didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. None of this did. None of and, it. Did. None of it has so far. That we've had nothing of it. So well, yeah. apparently the Taika one's still in in the works. Fuck off, right? Yeah, I, not, I, no. I ask you this. I ask you this. How long, how long does James Mangold last at Lucasfilm now after the reaction to Indiana Jones? Because he just directed Indiana Jones for him. How long do you think James Mangold lasts with his Star Wars film? It's not looking good. They need a win. They need a big win. And mm-hmm. the only the only way they can get that right yeah, is, is John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Yeah, and John Favreau and Dave Filoni not being stretched out doing all these other projects. Bring it in to what you were doing Mandalorian, you've built this amazing foundation that people know, people love, everybody loves Grogu. You know, you see that face on a billboard, you see Grogu's face on a billboard, everyone's going to go through the Baby Yoda movie. That's just what it'll be. Now, would I miss the week-to-week release of Mandalorian episodes? If you'd have asked me after season one and two, I'd have said yeah. And I like season three of The Mandalorian, but I think it is easily the weakest season of Mandalorian. So after after that season, if they haven't got anything to put into it to be a TV show, then spend that money and make it a film. Because you've got other things on Disney Plus and or, which is served well by it being a TV show. That works really well. Obviously, I we'll mean, see, who knows? They might we'll they might do a movie and then do another show. Do you know what I mean? Afterwards, yeah. like do you know? We'll see what Ahsoka does. You know, next yeah. week or week after. I think we're only two weeks out from Ahsoka today. All seeing the billboards for that. Yeah, so that's two Unbossed. episodes. Two episode premiere as well. So that'll be a fun Wednesday. That'll be indeed. But yeah, the Mandalorian movie. I'm up for it. Even the way season three ended. It was like closing that chapter, you know, with the camera coming in on Grogu and yeah, they've done the man. Because it, it's not, but if you know, when people say like, oh, well, you know, this 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 didn't really seem like a kind of Mando thing, and it's like, well, no, I mean, even in season one on that episode where they're with that village and he's just kind of settled in a bit, and then he's you know he's offered to to stay there and just you know live his yeah. life at this village. It's like you know. You can see Mando kind of wants that, but he was on a mission at that point. The whole, the whole mission, the whole overarching mission of Mandalorian was to get him to his kind, and obviously he did at the end of season two, and then in season three, um, well, you know, Book of Boba Fett, that was a fucking mistake doing it in that. Don't get me yeah. wrong, the Mandalorian episodes in Book of Boba Fett were the best ones, but if the, I've said this before. Mandalorian season uh, three. three, three, and Boba Fett season one should have just been mixed together, and I think we'd have been a lot happier. So, just yeah. cut, just cut the stories down, keep it as one. Yeah, don't. I mean, I get it. People said people wanted like some of Boba Fett, but it's like he's better as a side character. I love he's him, better as a side character, but he's better yeah. as a side character. That's where he shines. But I'll, I'll say this: like his, his, his sort of his is you know with the with the um, Tuscan Raiders and stuff that arc. I, I liked that. To be fair, yeah, was, I liked that. Was really fucking good. Like not even good. It was fantastic. That was the best for me. That was the best part of Boba Fett stuff in the Boba Fett show. But then, critically wise, I'd say the. Oh, you mean the, oh, you mean the last two episodes of Boba Fett where he, you know, the last three episodes of Boba Fett where he appeared for a minute in one of them, and then in he wasn't even in one of them at all. You know, title character, not in the show. 
So, if, you know, it's different. It's different when it's a show like, say, you know, um, I don't really know, but it's it's a different in a different type of show like Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones, for example. But that's got that's a show about multiple characters. This is a show about Boba Fett, and you know the fact that he's not really. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm happy with a film. You're happy with a film. If that's if that's what's going to give us the best story, and they've looked at it, then, yeah, I'm completely up for that. You know, I. You know, we've just slagged off Mandalorian Season 3 and Book of Boba Fett, but we don't know better than John Favreau and Dave Filoni. So. Because John Favreau's idea to cast uh, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, and that worked out pretty fucking well. So. Anyway, speaking of Marvel. Marvel VFX artists are first. I'm laughing at my own shit here. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I knew what your reaction was going to be. I've seen your face, catch eyes to it, and I was like, oh, he's seen it. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, Marvel VFX workers are going to unionize. All right, sorry, can we just play this out? Come and find you. The VFX eyes, so blah, blah, blah. They're unhappy, whatever. And he's just there. He's, he's having to walk yeah, out. We'll, to no, we'll do it again. Guy. We'll do it again. You, you'll be Kevin well, Feige. Well, right, 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 right. You ready? So. <sighs> yeah. You're supposed to say, come in. Hello. Hi, Kevin. It's it's your assistant. What the fuck do you want? Oh, Mister Mister Feige, I, I've got some te- terrible news out here. Uh, you know our VFX artists. They want now. Fucking well, they, well they they want uh, some more stuff because they've they've voted. What, to... Do you want more money? Maybe not. It's not about the money, Kevin. They just want better work hours. And... They want more money. They give them more money. No, no. I've got some terrible news, Kevin. Give them more money and cut the time. Kevin, I've got some terrible news. Go on. They've unionized. I've got to walk out in the red carpet in a minute. Do you realise that's just gonna? It's just gonna be all over my face. What unionisation? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Smile. Oh, shit. I forgot about shit. That's the other reason why we were doing it. No, but I, I did it. At the, I tried to lead it in because it like it looks like he's just stepped out there, and if someone's told him while his take his photos getting taken, he's just like he's just been told like, oh by the way, the VFX uh, unionized. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Oh god! I, I start, whenever something like bad happens, I, I just have to put shit. It's just, it's just what we do now. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Kevin Feige. I don't think he would have had this reaction. You know, obviously, there's people above him who control the money. He can only do what he can do with the budget. Um, but he's a. Uh... So I've been looking into this a bit more. Apparently, the Marvel Studios VFX team. Is only a team of around 50 people anyway. And this is Marvel Studios' in house VFX team. A lot of their stuff is outsourced. So, I think this will have an impact on Marvel Studios, but I don't think it's going to be as big of an impact as people are saying. Because we know, you know, VFX artists are being overworked, underpaid, all that sort of stuff. I don't know. Anything to do with VFX. Obviously, Kyle, you've done a little bit of animation here and there, and I bet you know how fucking tedious it is to do stuff like that. So Yeah, I mean, I, I did a lightsaber and that. Jesus Christ, like... I, I don't know how guys do it on the big screen. Yeah. You know. So there's, there's all the stuff like that, and I, I think people should always be getting fairly compensated for the work, you know. You should get, uh, get out of it what you put in. And... These VFX artists are a big reason why Marvel Studios has made the money it has made and has become the success it has made. Um, and I don't think people can talk shit about Marvel VFX now after seeing fucking the flashes. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope I hope they get a fair deal. I don't think a strike would be 
anytime soon though because the union uh, they've gone with the marvel vfx artists um held a vote last year to strike and uh they voted not to strike so i think they hold these votes like every you know like 10 years anyway so that shouldn't be an issue now i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about this is american unions so yeah well anyway what, what do you think of the vfx artists unionizing you know, getting them a little bit more. Bit good, for them. good for them, yeah. Um, what do you think of Kevin Faggy's shit? Fucking stinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should have flushed. It's hog fucking toilet now. That's not good. So. so I'll tell you about one of my colleagues at work actually met Kevin Faggy and. You know, didn't even know. Um, they, yeah. they, they were well. They, they did. They, 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 they were told by Kevin Feige was like, "Oh yeah, I'm holding a Marvel event and stuff like this." And they were like, "Oh yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about it." And and apparently they were talking for a good hour, uh, you know, hour and a half or whatever in the shop. So... And and do you know what Kevin Feige, Kevin Feige said to said to them, you know, I'm not saying here him or she, not because of that. I just I want to keep their identity anonymous for you know respect but they said they would they you know they said to me oh yeah um yeah uh, he invited me to uh the marvel event that he was doing at the oh! time. yeah and they said no sorry i'm not interested i, I don't really follow that stuff mm. and i'm like did you get a picture no did you get a sign no you know the amount of people who don't know the genius that is kevin feige still you know perplexes me today you know you're I'm, literally meeting stanley too as having a conversation basically. with someone today who doesn't know who kevin feige is but kyle uh before you went into that you know when you said oh you know he's just talking about shit and he, he says oh yeah someone at work i thought he's gonna say someone at work did a big shit <laughs> was it But yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, sorry for the little skit we did, Kevin Feige. We love you. We want to come to every single Marvel premiere ever till the end of time. Yeah, I'd just like to say thank you to him. I yeah. want to die in the theatre watching a Marvel film. That's how hardcore I am. Oh, you're gonna say yes. keep going where you're going, Kevin? You have a fucking heart attack in there. <laughs> You will do, mate. I fucking We're doing this you YouTube I, shit. I beat you to it, mate. So you can't say the joke. What time you beat me to something, mate? You slow as fuck. You can't mate, run through us to save your mate, life, mate. I can fucking run. I no, can't, mate. Yes, I've I can. You run, mate. You're mate. like, you're like, you're like Will's face from Daredevil, mate. It's like, <laughs> mate, I can <laughs> run, run fast. I can run faster than Wilson face from Daredevil. No, you can't, mate. I can run fast. Yeah, I'll give you honest, right? You're bigger than him. Fuck off. When I say bigger, I mean you're fatter. 17 inch biceps, don't make me say it again. And that's full of hard stuff. Full I was going to say something about don't talk, talk about Vanessa like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking better not talk about Vanessa. Oh, it's just like Christ. mannequin. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know what? We, do you know what? Right. We, we need. Do you know what we need? Right. We need just like a little segment that you can swap into because I can see all your back behind the scenes stuff here. But you need like a uh, one of your thing slides where you can just pull up a custom image of like you know you can search something online and put it in. Just memes. Just memes. Yeah. Just memes. Yeah, fuck it. Everyone loves a good meme. Everyone loves memes. Uh, just do a meme segment. What's up? <laughs> it has to be like. It has to be related to some thing in the show marvel movie memes marvel movie memes mmm no, no, no. <laughs> anyway speaking of marvel movies god these segues just come quicker than kyle on a first date anyway deadpool 3 apparently one of the villains characters she's a villain in the comics but um Emma Corrin, who has been in The Crown, she played Princess Diana in The Crown. I haven't seen The Crown. My grandma loves it. She's always watching it. Uh, are you fucking drinking again? 
Kyle. Never I stopped, you. baby. Never stopped, baby. <laughs> Gotta get these. Uh, gotta get these shows out somehow. Have, how long have have you just poured that? Or have you been drinking it the whole thing? Because I ain't fucking noticed. I drank it the whole thing, mate. All right. Um. I'm having chicken wings tonight, so thought I'd have a bit of wine with it. Yes, Kyle has problems, but Emma Corrin apparently has been cast as Cassandra Nova Xavier who is Charles Xavier's evil twin sister, who he fought in the womb and thought he killed her in the womb. Yep, that's real. Uh, What's her name again? Cassandra Nova Xavier. I think... Cassandra... No, the... the, the Emma, Emma Corrin. Playing. Emma Corrin. Because uh, uh, I, I recognise her. She been in. She been in anything I've seen. So well, we I, can. I, I weirdly enough, recognise her. She's got a beautiful view of just like half your face right now. It's funny. If I could like. No, she didn't been in anything I've seen. Must have seen her in the crown when my mum was uh, watching it. Yeah. My mum loves that shit. But, Kyle, apparently. Yeah. You know we've talked about Deadpool three quite a lot, um, and all the people who are going to be in it. And crazy shit like that. I'm gonna stop talking about. Hey, your eyes, then. I'm so sorry. Your eyes look so fucking tired. Mate, when you don't that. It you speak like to tired. me about eyes, mate? Because I'm gonna go to the beginning of this episode, mate, and your eyes look fucking massive. Yeah, like that. Um, so I'm gonna stop reporting on like Marvel characters who've appeared in films before, and might be appearing in Deadpool three. But this is like a new character. Uh, so, I want to speak about this a little bit. She is going to be from... Eight, oh, what? Is it 838? The universe I went to in Multiverse of Madness? Mm. Yeah. She is going to be from the 838, and apparently she's going to have a little bit of beef with... I'm sorry, don't get wound up. She is going to have a little bit of beef with a 616. Kevin Feige 616. No, stop saying six one six. It's not the six one. You can't say it's Kevin Feige six one six because it's it's it, that's it's not six one six. It's not six one six. Kyle, it's... I'm I'm with you on this, but this Kyle, is let's it. not call it six one six. Let them say it. They don't even know what fucking year the Marvel universe is in, right? So fuck that. It's not six one six. So right, I tell you what. 838 is going to have some beef. Apparently, a lot of people from 838 are going to have some beef with uh, the people from the original Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline. Fair? Which is 199999. So. They, 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 right. They, Marvel don't... Have, right. This is the one thing. Marvel does a universe, right? And they, they can't keep a consistency, which is the one thing that really pisses me off about the MCU. For some reason, fucking Spider-Verse can get it right, but the own Marvel movies, countless times in their own movies, can't get it right. Don't talk to me about that little... Um, that nerd and Doctor Strange and that fucking... In Universe 99999... They get it right, but why can't an MCU call their own universe correct? Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like they've ad adopted, you know, the Marvel comics, and the the main universe in the Marvel comics is obviously the six one six, and they want to establish themselves as the main universe of movies. I get that. Yeah, I, I get, get it. That, I get it as well. It's still a different universe. It's, anyway, it's not the exact same as the. Six not comics. what it's we're fucking adaptation. talking about. Not what we're fucking talking about. <laughs> Don't and... say 616 to me again. So, the people from 838 Please. are going to have beef with the people from 616. Yeah, you were going to log off then, but all our chats <laughs> are going to pay with our memes that <laughs> we send each other. <laughs> 
It's not the 616. All right, all right, I'm with you. I'm with you on this. The main, stop calling it that. The main MCU timeline, The pe- this is what I'm trying to get across to you, Kyle, the people from 838, what, I called it main MCU timeline? Nine, 19, nine. Kyle, that's too fucking long to say. Not long. Yeah, and you're going to make a point, I said it in the first place, wouldn't have had to go on this big rant. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you've, you've now made this longer. You've made something Fuck longer for me. Months. You've made something longer six for me. Months. You've made six something months, longer six. for me. You've made something longer for me. Yeah, and I'll fucking just. I don't know what to do. I don't I'm on about my cock. I'm on about my cock. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. I'll throw this fucking. I don't even know from here. I don't know. It's not 616. All right, we're, we're past that. We're past that. that. We're past that. Yeah. Right, then call it what, what it is. All right, but I'm going to go talk about 838, yeah? Yeah? 838 has beef with 19999999. That one too many nines, but okay, I'll okay. allow it. So, yeah, a lot of these people from that earth are going to have beef with people from... Uh, <laughs> You've just fucking said that. Yeah, I'm just... Why did you need to repeat it? Because like, I've, I've lost. I've lost. Viewers, Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, the university goes to where they kill all the the the, the fucking society. Illuminati. Right? Illuminati. Kyle, it's, it's, import- it's important be- to me that you get it right. It's Illuminati. It's not society. Whatever. It's the same no, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's 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 the important that you get it right. It's, it's, it's important that you get it right. It's important that you get it right. Fuck off. They've got beef with that. You with 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 the main universe. Well, no, no, no. Up. Say it properly. Nineteen nine 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 nine. There we go. Yeah. So. The rumour is with Deadpool 3 is him and Wolverine are going to get into some TVA shenanigans, get locked up, uh, and they're going to get a similar deal that Loki got. You know, do a job for us, and uh, we'll uh, we'll let you go free. We won't prune you. And I can imagine that job will be stop this incursion that's about to happen between 838 and 19999. No. So what what do you think of this? Ooh, the whole... yeah, I'm down for that. Alright. That's all you had to fucking it, say it first. It, Kyle, that's all you had to that... say in the first place. Yeah, all you had to say in the first place <laughs> was nineteen nine 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 nine. Yeah, but I'd love the comments to you know just rinse us for it. Mate, the comments are going to rinse you for anything anyways. They're going to rinse you because you're fat. Mate, they're going to rinse you because you're a big rocket fucking head. There's a reason we don't get a side profile of Kyle. It's because he looks like a fucking xenomorph. See? You see it sticking out? How far it's sticking out back of his head, sir? So. Shut up, mate. You fucking put product in your hair, you loser. Mate, I don't put product in my hair. You put product on your pubes. I know you do because I've smelt them. That's not by choice. No, it's not. Next question. I wasn't... I wasn't... I didn't choose that. Ooh, Blue Beetle. They're looking at, looking at the money. Yeah, they're looking at the money. Uh, because the box office projections for Blue Beetle, which is coming out next Friday, have doubled. So it's gone from a 15 to 17 million opening weekend, it's looking like, to now 30 million. Oh my God, Blue Beetle. You're going to make so much fucking money. This is still flop. Yeah, this is still shit. Thirty million is still shit for an opening, especially for a comic book film. So, what? Who knows? It might blow us out of the water, or it might do even less. I think the film might be good. Hope so. I think the film might be good, but you never know. So, I'll just ask you this: Why do you think the box office projections have doubled? Uh, you know, is it, do you think it's like what's recently happened with the box office? You know, because stuff's been coming out and making way above 
projected? It could be, yeah. I mean, we're, <clears throat> I mean, there's been a lot of talk of superhero things, so you know, people might be more into the mood of like, oh, let's go see a comic book movie in the cinema, and it's just like Blue Beetles there. So, yeah, it could be that. It I don't know. Won't be no Beetleheimer. No. Imagine if it was so. Won't be any blue Barbie. Sounds weirdly erotic. Yes. But yeah, I think I'll be asking you this though for the last time before we see the film. You know, after seeing that second trailer now, how excited are you for for Blue Beetle? I wouldn't say I'm like, like, oh my god, I can't wait. I'm just like. It looks like a good time at cinema. I think it looks like it could be a laugh. I'm I'm down for something just silly and stupid, like like a silly Iron Man. Like I'm up for that. Aliens, blasters, and shit. I know a lot of people rinse the 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 trailer that came out. I know you said you didn't like it, but I watched it. I wasn't expecting it to be like the worst thing ever. I was like, oh my god, this actually looks kind of just fun. Like it, I don't give a shit about what's going on, but it looks fun. It does well, look fun, yeah. and that's the most important thing for a film. For me, anyway, the most important thing for a film to be is fun. So, but... I'll tell you what does look fun. And I thought this was a four-episode miniseries, but apparently no, it's, it's, three. it's a free. The Continental. We've got a new trailer today. What did you think of the trailer, Kyle? Pretty good. I'm excited. Yeah. This did, is something I'm excited for. Yeah, this is very... I wasn't expecting this to be like feel very John Wick. I was expecting a different vibe from this, but then when they got into it, seen fighting on the is stairs. The, is the thing, it feels John Wick, but at the same time, it feels very stylized John Wick. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It feels like... It does feel like it's a part of that time, though. Like, they've got that... They've nailed that feeling of... That time period. Yeah. Different. Yeah, because John Wick's a very, like... A European, almost semi-futuristic kind of kind of vibe, whereas this is now like going back to you know years ago, and it and it's nailed the vibe absolutely, and and yeah. it looks fun. It looks more action than I than I would have thought. To be honest. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, because it's Winston, um, obviously played by Ian McShane. Uh, so and... far from Winston that we've seen in in the in the trailers, it, yeah. he's nailing it. Do you know what I mean? I can I can see him as a I, like. It looks like a young Ian you know. Shane, yeah, uh, yeah. Sh- Sharon, obviously R.I.P. Lance Riddick, uh, beginning of this year. So sad, just so before sad. just before John Wick Four came out. It was well. a week. I think it was like a week. A week before it, it came out, yeah. Um, but Mel Gibson as well. Mm-hmm. I love Mel Gibson. I know he said some controversial things in the past. Uh, but we have forgiven him for them. His his cancelled card expired before cancelling was a thing. Obviously, he's done some amazing work behind the camera. He's all, he's always done amazing work in front of the camera as well. Obviously, look at him in Mad Max, the first three. Uh, don't really like Thunderdome that much, but if I was to do like a top ten films ever, like uh, what is this Road Warrior? Road Warrior would probably be on there. The second Mad Max film. I love that so much. So, I'm a big fan of Mel Gibson. Big fan of the John Wick universe. And this trailer was fun. So fun. Oh, it had all the John, little John Wickisms. I love that uh, line that the trailer opened with as well. It's um, it's not about like the suit you're wearing. It's about what's in it. Being the person. Like the smart, the cunning and stuff like that. So, I'm excited to see how Winston takes control of the Continental. Because that's what this is going to be about. I feel, I do feel a little bit like from the trailer, like I've seen the whole show. I do get that little bit of a vibe, especially with the ending shot. But I still love the trailer. I we know where this show's going anyway, because we've got two characters in it that are in the John Wick films. So. It'll be ni- it'll be nice to watch this because it's short as well. It'll be nice to be able to like when you do like a, a a John Wick marathon, you can literally start with the Continental and do all you know, then do all the John Wick films. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it I think this this if anything, this is going to enhance John Wick One because John Wick One wasn't. I love John Wick One, 
You know, it's it's my second favorite out of the out of all four of them. Um, you know, John Wick Three is my favorite. Oh wow, you prefer one over four? I, I do ever so slightly. Yeah. I mean, they're all great. So it's... yeah, yeah. All right. Fair um, so it, for me, if we're gonna do it, it's John Wick, uh, John Wick Three, John Wick One, John Wick Four, then John Wick Two. I'm a four three. One, two, sort of guy. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, no, it, that that film's not like I'm not gonna say it's 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 flat in any way with 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 the um, the law, but it's definitely got law that's unexplored. It was the beginning of, of it, wasn't let's it? Put it that way. It was the beginning. It was the, be- it was the beginning. Yeah. So now that I know the law's obviously been expanded in in the, in the sequels to that film, I just feel like still in the first film it wasn't. I don't know, it doesn't well, feel you, like we've got anything. Ch- if you hear Chad Stahelski speak about it, it was like, you know, the whole purpose of the coins at first was, it's like, oh, these coins don't actually have any inherent value. It's like, oh, if you can't afford to put one of these coins down for a drink, then you don't deserve to be at this place anyway. Mm. So the coin, it's more the coins are more of like a status thing. Right. Anyways, I... I... I think I understand what you mean yeah. by, when you say that, but no, for me it wasn't. It, it was just. It just felt like um, there was, was there was some there, and it just wasn't explored. You were very in the back, background. Up. Very in the yeah, background. Yeah, it was very background. So whereas like this, it's like you know when you watch this in timeline order with the John Wick films, I feel like it'll. If anything, this I feel like this will enhance John Wick one as well. Do you know what I mean? Which I hope it does. I think um, this will enhance all the John Wick films. Yeah. No, I think it will, but. The first one, it'll definitely, definitely enhance it because yeah. it, that's the only thing I think that it it needs for me. But other than that, John Wick One is a near perfect film. Yeah. yeah. So who'd have thought we'd have been getting two John Wick projects this year? Yeah. And then one next year, probably. I think the Ballerina's coming out next year. So. Hell yeah! All fun and games. Love the John Wick universe. So uh, yeah, I think that'll do us for today, Kyle. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been a great day. We've talked about some great topics. Um, let us know what you think down below. What do you think the most interesting thing was? Have you got any questions? Me and Kyle would love to answer your questions. You know, ask Kyle something. Don't ask me because I don't have time to answer your questions. But ask Kyle. Kyle will answer all your questions. Um. <laughs> uh, mm. but yeah, leave a mm. like, comment. Um, when I say comment. Uh, we got a comment the other day, yesterday, uh, on the day before, on a video, um, from someone like, if we are reaching these people as an audience, uh, it's, it's just no need to be like this. So we did our Fantastic Four video on Friday, was it? Where we was going through all the Fantastic Four news. We got a comment on the video either yesterday or the night before, and I've seen it when I woke up in the morning. Um... Not even related to the subjects we was talking about, but uh, proceeded to say he would never watch another Fantastic Four film because in the last one they cast a black Johnny Storm. Um, wh- why? What is? What has that got to do with it? They cast a good actor as Johnny Storm. That's all they went out to do. There wasn't an agenda being pushed or anything like that. So, if you're one of them people who think race swapping a character is the end of the cinematic experience as we know it, uh, I know we're only a small channel. I don't want you watching our videos. Simple as. There's plenty of other channels out there who will agree with you. Uh, we just don't. Simple as that. So, yeah. anything you want to add to that, Kyle? I uh- I, I agree. Like, obviously, we want viewership. We want people to to talk. We want discussion. But there's no need for like that sort of thing. It's just like, you know, I I get it. Not everything's perfect in the way. In you know, with movies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is a man. That... This this man's racism made me defend Fan Forstick, a film I don't like at all. By the exactly, way, yeah. But just because it's racist, <laughs> it's like. Oh, the cast of black actor so film bad. It's not. It's no. not like I. I mean, I get it. If 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 his race or anything like that had a bit of significance, do you know what I mean? In the sense of like, let's say 
in in, in the co- let's say in the comics Johnny Storm is a white dude and he he you know he's he I, I don't know he, I I don't know but, you know but it's not like it's like saying have you ever seen that meme of like Ryan Gosling getting um he's replaced by um <laughs> He's replacing Black Panther. I love yeah, that meme. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, like obviously, you want someone. You know, obviously, when it comes to act, um, casting someone, you want someone to look the part. You want someone to to be able to play that part, to to be able to do these things. I but, get that. But, but most of all, but, you want a good actor. Exactly. That's the number one thing. And when it comes down to Johnny Storm being cast as as, as um, Michael B. Jordan, who is literally one of the best actors in and, the world and right now. Yeah. And the directors, you know, he did Creed three, you know. Um, it's 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 nothing to do with race, man. You saying that is just kind of like it's you know we're not going to name names with with any of our commenters or, or well, we know. don't get many, so you can see the we comments on many. Fantastic Four video. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you can go and see it, but it's stupid. It's like. You're not gonna go watch another Fantastic Four film for that. Even if it that was the reason, you still it's still a stupid reason why because yeah. this new Fantastic Four film isn't gonna be made by Fox. Like yeah, they're owned by Disney now, but it's gonna be you know Marvel Disney gonna Marvel Marvel doing this film. Oh, but Disney so, are yeah. work too, Kyle. Yeah. Oh god, don't, don't, it'd be, it'd be the end of the world if we got a full black Fantastic Four. Don't start with that fucking Snow White shit either. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I think. Yeah, losers. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I've got to say. But uh, anyway, like, subscribe, comment. Don't be an idiot when you comment, you know, because just just don't be an idiot. That's all I'll say is if you've got a genuine question, ask it, you know. If you want to leave a racist comment down there, do it. Let everyone know what an idiot you are. That's fine by me. Uh, but I just don't think I'm going to respond to him from now on. I'll just leave him. But I had to respond to that one yesterday. So, yeah. It responded in a big way, actually. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, show us to your mother. All that stuff. Um, might be doing a video tomorrow, maybe on another thing. Kyle, you won't be needed for that unless you want to be part of it. That's what is it? Uh, Dylan at work has asked me because he wants to get into watching the MCU and he says, I just don't know where to start. And I told him, I says, just go on Disney Plus, it's all in order. He says, yeah, but like, could you do a video for me? So I was like, all right, I guess I will. <laughs> okay, so, I'll, I'll do a video. I'm not working tomorrow, so yeah, fuck so, yeah. I'll do a video. MC, MC, we're going to be doing the MCU watch order, the, uh, the Infinity Saga for dummies. That's you, Dylan. Uh, so see you all later.